Mid Journey version 5.1 was just released and here are six styles that I think you need to try. For the record, here's the base prompt, futuristic superhero, and now we're gonna add the style to it. The first style I think you should try, and I think this is so underrated, I've never seen anyone ever use it before. Fortnite loading screen. Look how good these are, man. They're absolutely stunning. 5.1 nails it so well. And for the record, I really recommend you use a little bit of chaos in your prompt. Here it is at C4. They're really cool. I like number one a lot. And number three, that background's insane. You could also bump it up to Chaos 10 and add Stylize 400. What do you think? These are insane. I love number four. Love number one. I like them all actually. Fortnite loading screen is super powerful. Now check out this style with some other subjects. Alien police captain. Dude, <laughs> look how powerful these are. They're so beautiful. The color, the separation between the subject and the background in number three and four. Like that blurry background is so pretty. And then look at these futuristic sports car. Oh my God. I, like it's really hard to wrap your head around just how good these look. Like number one, number two, number three and four. I can't get over these. They're so good. Fortnite loading screen. That's a hack and a half. You got to use this in 5.1. I also tried the Fortnite loading screen in a different aspect ratio. Winter in the jungle. So these are pretty cool looking. So don't be afraid to change up the aspect ratio with these different styles. Next on the list, Greebles. Have you ever heard of this before? Greebles, man. Futuristic superhero. Look at the intricacies in number three. And I got to admit, Greebles doesn't nail the subject every time. Like in number one and number two, it kind of does its own thing. But look at number three. All you needed to do to get that was use the word Greebles. Highly recommend. But like I said, it's not perfect. Here it is with just Chaos 4. And you get some crazy looking pictures, but it strayed pretty far away from the subject. However, with S400 and Chaos 10, you get something like number one. That's absolutely insane that you can get that so easily with just one word. Here's the sports car. Love the intricacies. So cool. Love number one, love number two. And number three, I really like that color. Here's the winter in the jungle. Now, depending on your subject, I guess Greebles is going to do a couple different things. Mainly, it's just going to add a lot of detail like a lot of detail. It kind of put these structures into the photographs. Alien police captain. Really not that beautiful, but the intricacies, like number four, you, I'm super impressed with this. Number three, palette knife painting is a really specific look. Look at the thick brush strokes. Is that the best way to describe it? Not the most variety of color, but a clear distinction between each color in the picture. Love what it can bring. Can even bring real superheroes into it, like number three. That's so intricate. And look at the individual slices of paint. Oh, that's so pretty. Sports cars, man. Oh my gosh. If you had this printed on your wall, everyone would want to know where you got it from and all you needed to do was type in palette knife painting winter in the jungle look how good these are dude it's honestly nonsense for like a split second until your mind can like register what it's looking at love the colors it brings especially down the river in one and number three and in number four as well look there's like a reflection of the sunset how how does it do that? Mid Journey is amazing. And then look at the alien police captain. Number one is crazy. Ah, it's so pretty. Three down, let's get to a bonus style. I spy page is hilarious. Here's an I spy page of a grocery store. Number two is like exactly what you'd want out of an I spy page. But the reason I can't actually recommend this style is because it's not always going to give you what you want. However, the results are still pretty cool, if a little undefined. Look at the futuristic superhero. I spy page. This has nothing to do with an I spy page, but look how pretty they are. I think what that style does is just add a ton of detail, intricate little bits of nonsensical detail, just like an I spy page is filled with little objects. Now, because this isn't precise, I can't really recommend you use this, but like look at number one. That's the kind of picture you can get with this. That's pretty powerful. But here, when you put it on a sports car, it doesn't really do anything, and that's another reason I can't suggest it. However, with a certain prompt, like when winter in the jungle, it can give you pretty close to what you're looking for. Like in number three, I'd say that's reminiscent of an I Spy page. There's a lot to look at. And it does a pretty good job with the alien police captain. I mean, again, it's not the style we want, but these pictures are cool. So take it for what you will. That's the bonus style of this list. Number four, plushy is adorable. Look how cute these are, man. Number one is amazing. Two is amazing. Three is probably the best. That's so gorgeous, especially with that background. The 
outdoorsy feel, the lighting. And number four is a cute little robot as well. With a little bit of chaos, you can get some cool picks like this. They're all really good. Bump up the chaos, bump up the stylized value. You're gonna get a little weirder, but you might find what you're looking for. Plushie doesn't work that well with cars. I'd say number one, three, and four are a bit of a letdown. But look at number two. That is so perfect. That is a plushie of a cool looking futuristic sports car. Nailed it. And then look at the winter in the jungle, man. Okay, one, three, and four, you know, whatever. You might not think it did well, but look at number two. That's like a lion, maybe a Siberian tiger wearing a winter coat. That is so funny. And like, there's a little bit of snow on the ground in front of them. Like absolutely hilarious. Thank you, Mid Journey. And I think it did a really good job with the alien police captain as well. Number two, like that texture on his face, that looks so real. Just like a plushie you'd want to find in a store. And number three is a cool picture, but it's a little freaky, a little weird to look at. Number five, Yukio A is stunning. Look at these, man. That color palette is so unique and so sought after. And I love the complexity it brings. With a little bit of chaos, you can get something like number three. That is so gorgeous with this giant moon in the background causing like tsunamis over the earth. And then number four, you have just a guy in a suit wearing a Batman cape and cowl. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, look how good it can get though. Number three and number four are crazy. The futuristic robot look, ah, that's so cool. Check these out. That sports car, number four. Oh my God, that is the coolest aesthetic I've ever seen. I love that so much. I don't think it did a great job in the one by one. So maybe Yukio A is best served in a wider aspect ratio, or maybe this was just a bad seed. That'll happen sometimes too. Oh, oh. Look at the police captain, man. That faded look is so cool. I'm such a fan. Ah, like, you can't, uh, uh, they're so pretty. The sixth and final style I think you should try, Polaroid is dreamy. Here's the superhero, and what do you notice? I mean, the style and the look of the pictures are great, but they're holding cameras. When you prompt the camera, even though it's Polaroid and it should know what you're looking for, that vintage vibe, it still might bring the camera into the frame. And that's something we want to avoid. So we're gonna negative prompt out the camera. We can also try adding photo into the prompt. So Polaroid photo, dash dash no camera. And this is what we get. What do you think? Uh, I love number one. Number three is great. Number two is strange and I'm kind of surprised it's there. It really has nothing to do with a Polaroid, but the other look that we get, that's what we wanted. Here it is at Chaos 10 S400. Number four is amazing. And number three, I really just like the look of that whole thing. Futuristic sports car. Look how dreamy these are, man. Number four, this whole setup that's going on. I, I just, I can't get over this. 5.1 is amazing. And Polaroid photo, no camera works really well. I think it did a pretty good job in the one by one. I mean, these look like a real Polaroid photo of winter in the jungle. Not bad, but look at these. <laughs> I almost want to make number four the thumbnail. Should I? That is so funny. Ah, oh, hey, number three is hilarious. <laughs> These are all hilarious. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any styles you think I should try. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.